What's up YouTube, my name is Marvin Aziz, I'm a freelance developer and yesterday for the web to the flow website I created an animation on scroll to actually change the background color of a section. Today I want to show you how easy it actually is to create such an animation using Webflow's interaction triggers. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So, as you can see, I'm currently in the um, Webflow Designer and I've got a really basic setup right here. So I've got these cards floating in as soon as you scroll down, right? With a header, a paragraph and a button, a little gradient in the background and an image down here so that we can actually do something with the background color, right? So um, right now this is looking fine. But um, in order for you to have a really immersive experience, um, you could try to um, change the background color on scroll. So that's what we are going to do now, is I'm going to actually select that section, which is wrapping all those elements up until the last card. Okay, so I'm grabbing that section and from there on, I'm going to press H to get into the interactions. You can also go to the top right corner and click on the interactions icon. I'm going to create a new element trigger and I want it to have the trigger while scrolling in view. Okay, so I'm going to check off those smaller screen sizes for now and I want to play a scroll animation. So you can check the animation boundaries up here it tells you where the animation is going to start and where it's going to end, right? But we're going to leave it for now and create a new animation. Okay, click on that little plus icon. I'm going to call that um, Animate Background Color. And I am going to, I still have that section selected, right? And I'm going to click that plus icon, click on Background Color. And now it added two keyframes so I'm choosing the first one and for now it's going to be a white background, right? But you have to think about um, the section is already in the screen, right? So up until I actually start to um, scroll down, I want it to be, oops, 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 right. There we go. Before I'm scrolling, I still want it to be a white background, right? As soon as I start scrolling, maybe somewhere here, I want it to start to get into something darker. Keep being dark, dark, dark. And as soon as I scroll out of the last card, I want it to go back to white again. Okay, so that's what we're going to do now. Actually, you can check where the animation is supposed to start, right? So it tells me right here, it's at 27%. So 27% 20, of the elements, so the section, is currently in view. It's currently visible. So I want my background color to stay white, maybe a bit afterwards. And then I want it to go dark mode. Okay, so I'm going to choose a dark color. Maybe actually black, yeah, that's looking better. And then I'm going to duplicate that one, put it somewhere here. And I'm firstly going to preview it, okay. Okay, it's dark. Actually not now, actually here. I want it to um, get back to white again. Okay, so I'm gonna duplicate that white one and put it down here. All right, so let's see how this actually looks. Oh, wrong button. All right, there we go. Let's see how this actually looks. Looking good. Oh yeah, it's getting dark. See, now you have this immersive effect, right? You, you can only concentrate on the, on the content which is right in front of you. The background noise is gone. Boom, boom, boom. It's a nice effect. And that was a bit too early for me, right? 
So now what you have is, and you can play around with it like crazy. It's getting dark. Beautiful, beautiful. Now it's getting, it's lighting up again. All right. What you can actually do, because one thing that's annoying, I can see the, the border up here and I can see the border down here. And I don't like that. So um, let's actually change the, the target to be the body. So I'm going to click on the body and I'm going to do that for all of the keyframes. Key all right, let's see how that actually looks. Light, dark, it's getting dark, it's getting dark, it's still being dark. It's dark, it's getting light again, right? And now you don't have any borders in there. It's just dark for a moment and it lights up again. Okay, so the next step would actually be to um, not only change the background color as soon as you scroll, but also maybe change the background color of that card, right? So that would maybe be interesting. So now that we have our basic animation right here, what I'd like to do is actually um, get into some advanced stuff, right? So uh, this animation is not supposed to be uh, dependent on the, the main section, but on the individual, individual card. And the way we are going to do it is, um, um, for now, I'm simply going to add some margin down here so that the card is not fully visible in the beginning. And I'm going to select that um, wrapper, the card wrapper, and press H. I want to create a new interaction. I'm going to choose this time to um, have it scroll into view. All right. I want to start a new animation and I'm going to call it um, card um, scroll in. And from there, I actually want text to start with a opacity of zero that set it to the initial state. Also, I'd like the paragraph to start initially with zero opacity and the button too. Push it up there. So that, that's the initial state. Also, I'm going to add a move animation. So I want it to start 25 pixels below. Same for the button. Okay, still the initial state. So I'm going to uh, select all of them and um, duplicate it. All right, so now I'm going to choose an ease for the easing, put it to 0.6, maybe a bit of delay, 0.2, and then I'm going to set the opacity of all of them to 100%. And also I'm going to put the movement to zero pixels. And I don't want the animation to start as soon as the card is visible at a 0%, all right? I want to give it a, a little bit of breathing time. So I'm going to create an offset for about, let's say, 40%. So only if I have like 40% of the card visible, it's going to start the animation. And then we're going to choose an animation on scroll out of the view. And for that, I'm simply going to actually duplicate the animation we just created and um, change it up a little bit. Scroll out. I'm going to remove all those initial states. We don't need them for now. And I want the opacity of all of them to go back to zero without delay, uh, zero duration. The movement should back, 
go back to 25 pixels, pixels and there's no offset, right? So as soon as the card is out of the view, it immediately um, goes back to the initial state. Hopefully, let's, let's see. Um, for that, I'm going to choose um, the class. So um, this interaction is going to apply to all classes with the same, with the same uh, to all elements with the same class, right? So I've got three elements called sec call wrapper in here. So this is supposed to be my car class. Let's see how this actually looks. Nothing to see here. Yes. 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 See? Easy. And honestly, like, as I scroll out, it's going immediately back to the effect, which is great because I don't have to apply it to all the elements I like I don't have to create an animation to all of the elements. I simply can use the, the class and choose, the, choose to have the animation um, for the class only, right? Easy as that. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments or any feedback constructive. Uh, please write it down in the comments and hit that like and subscribe button to support the channel. I'd love to make some more videos on all things Webflow and see you in the next one.